hello, hello. What's up, summoners? King Blair here. Today, as the video shows, we are going to be doing some MLR testing. We're actually going to be trying her out. I did actually end up picking her from the coin shop, the whale shop. Uh, if you guys may not know, I did have the 40 coins. I decided not to wait for me and Chloe, even though that probably would have been the most meta thing to do. And mainly that was because I really like Silver Blade Aramintia. She's actually one of my favorite characters in the game. And I don't know, I just really like her. Uh, so today we're going to be trying her out. I might try her in Arena as well, but primarily we're going to be trying her out in RTA. Because that's that's the funner game mode for me. And I do have her kind of a spicy build. She's not fully Mulligord out yet. Not even the one that she needs to have for this S3. But I, at least... Hopefully it's not too bad that we don't have this extra effect chance uh, for the things like the burns and for the for the burns mainly because we were like we want to try a little bit of burns we might also try it with carrot who is also a newer addition to my team it took me a really long time to actually build my carrot so we're gonna be trying out with carrot as well right it's kind of like kind of a little bit of a burn burn type team composition and also with some specimen says hey what's up deeds so all right let me let me turn my camera on. Should be, should be a good time. If you guys didn't know, it's almost the end of season. So we are very close to the end of season for RTA. And I have been so AFK from RTA that I've decayed again. And this time I decayed a lot more because I did not play for over a week. So I decayed 200 points, which is really depressing. But you can see I was at 2400. Not 200 points, I guess it was only about 100. 130 points were, were last. Oh man, that stinks. Yeah, this this long break really hurts. And then I did try MLR yesterday with some fun fun team compositions, you know, with, with, before I even awakened her because I wanted to see is this build really feel kind of good. And it honestly did, right? It was actually pretty satisfying. And so far, I really like the counter build on her. Hey, what's up, Yermi? Hey, what's up, Haniel? Yeah, it's that's what I'm running today too. So again, let me show it before we start getting. And good morning, Ryu, Rauji. But yeah, let me show the MLR that I'll be using. This does mean that we can't ban Carrot. Let's start banning Carrot like normal and just trying MLR on her own. And then let's try the burn burn combo with uh, MLR and Carrot. Uh, I will have to first pick the Carrot, who's also not fully done. But this is the this is the Carrot that I'll be using later that I recently also just built. And the MLR, so this is the Carrot. I mean, pretty standard Carrot, high attack, high bulk. Some effectiveness just because it, it happened to have effectiveness on the subs. And then Amber Aura, Counter Bruiser. One of the things I wish to got to get higher is the HP. And there's a lot of HP to be gained. Particularly, this one doesn't give that much HP. This one gives more defense. This one gives a ton of HP because she has terrible base HP. Right? She is terrible base HP. So that flat HP is actually really good on her. So this will actually give her a lot of, uh, of health once I actually reforge it. Probably like around like 200, 300-ish. Maybe a little bit less. Because it is very low. This one's already maxed out. This one's maxed out. And then this one will also give her a pretty good amount of health, right? So I d at the end, if everything turns out the way I expect it to, she should be around 13,500 and like almost 2k defense. So Kana, Kana is a good, a good unit to, for PvE, you know what I mean? She's pretty good for Earth Expo, which by the way, we are losing Fire Expedition. Yeah, yeah, then I know you use Counter, counter R at the end, so I am excited to try her. Hopefully, I didn't steal your thunder. So, it's pretty nice. And yes, MLR has been nerfed in the past. But if y'all didn't know, we also are losing Fire Expedition. So, say goodbye to your Fire Expeditions because you are not going to be seeing it next month. Uh, we are getting Dark Expedition instead of Fire Expedition. So, feels bad. Say goodbye to Fire Expo for about two months. Unless they decide to be nice and change it out next month. Hopefully next month. But yeah, that's gonna suck. Uh, her nerf used to be... She, she got nerfed and then she got buffed, right? So, we're, we're about to go into RTA, but... She originally, what was it? I think it was lower cooldown? Or it had something to do with, I think that reverted most of the changes, actually. I think this had a higher chance to burn. Like, both of these had a higher chance to burn. And I think that was it, honestly. I think these two just had a higher chance to burn. She was nerfed, though. And I think it, I think they reverted most of it when they when they rebuffed her. They basically made her stronger than her original version. It just happens that Epic Seven has progressed so much that she no longer is who she used to be, right? In the past, it's a it is a bit risky drafting her, right? I've only drafted her two times, but we'll see. We'll try to force her in there. We'll, I usually don't pick her till the very very bottom. Yeah, that's what I imagine. That the S three was probably lower. I think it was a four turn cooldown, and with how much you can cycle with that S two. 
You could actually cycle it pretty quickly. Uh, we're gonna start with Bane and Carrot because I don't have first pick and because I want to try her on her own. So, we'll, we'll, we'll see how she is. Yeah, Salivetes, I know, it sucks, dude. It really does suck. And we are gonna play FCC because if y'all didn't see that, the, that HP is not that great. So we're gonna supplement it with a Fallen Cecilia because any unit with Fallen Cecilia just tends to become uh, bulkier. And then we're gonna put Falconer Clary over Basar, right? The big reason is because Falconer Clary is a, a big speed threat. And it's also one of my Basar counters because she's actually pretty fast. So I can actually catch some Basar so card. So I just like I just like having my team core pretty solidified. By the way, today's video is going to be about how to climb. So I know I did that poll for a reason. And I was very surprised to see where everyone is. And I wonder how much of the people that are unranked are just because they don't like the season or because they're waiting till the last week to climb. So that's 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 another one that I'm really curious about for that poll. Alright, oh man, I really wish I had Basar here. I don't want to put MLR at just yet, right? Hmm, but I really do at the same time. I'll put Spess though. He's going to be confused, but this deters some stuff. And then I need one more support or one more DPS. Why not? Let's put the MLR on, just, just to bait out some supports. Let's just see what he does. I'd rather have my last pick for a counter pick than for MLR. This is very risky though, because he can put uh, an RB. He could, uh, although I doubt RB. RB would be a little bit weird for him here. He should put something here to contest my MLR, right? Which is what we want, because he's actually pretty tanky, right? Like a top model Luka and a Kali would be something I would expect. But it doesn't seem like he's going for that. So I wonder what he'll go for here. Ruel is kind of, kind of weird. Same with both of these are really weird options. I could go full aggro, and then he'll ban the Fallen Cecilia. But I think I am going to go full aggro. Because he, he just set himself up to get full aggro. Right? Like, RB just makes so much sense here. And I could ban this, and he has no... Um, no Aureus? Yeah. I think I'm just going to do this, and just take out his Aureus. That's a, it's a little weird, but he, he kind of had to ban the RB, which means we get to keep the rest of the team. So let's see it. Let's see if this guy can, could tell us. Let's see how bulky area does. Let's see, let's see how he, she performs here. Um, who should I take out? Honestly, I don't think I hit this Royale, but in case I do, let's, let's do a scuff check. Let's see if this Royale is scuffed. I think she will be, right? That's why I'm going for it. Alright, so it is a, a scuffed-ish Royale. It sucks we don't have attack buff, though. Wow, that is a squishy t -Cern, Which, this actually works out in favor for us. Because it lets us actually, um... Hit her pretty easily. Ooh, and we got, we get a nice little counter-attack. Oh yeah, this t is going good night. Uh, let's get rid of the T-Seren. I'm pretty sure this kills, right? Because she's below 51%. And there's no Aureus. Yep, that does kill. I'm surprised he's Soulburn here. Because he's not going to get the... Um... Oh, that is a tanky Landy. Good thing we didn't do anything against that Landy. That's a really weird thing for him to do here. I don't really understand why he used a Soulburn here. He's not killing my MLR, right? My MLR will get to go. I And he can't kill my Cess anymore, right? So I guess he's trying to go for the stun. I don't know, actually. I don't know what he's going for here. Ah, oh, we didn't get the miss. Feels bad. Alright, and now we'll get MLR to give us that nice little uh, stun and burns. It's a counter set MLR, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that is satisfying. The only problem is that um, our spec is stunned, right? That sucks. And he still has speed buff, which also sucks. But I don't think he killed any of my units, right? It's going to take him some time. I don't think I win here, though. I don't know. 
We'll have to see. We, we did get to provoke. And the landy should go before. And we do have to kill this landy. That's what we're trying to do. Let's see. And I can actually afford to do a soul burn here on the Ruel. Maybe potentially get a stun. Nice. We got a stun on the landy. It sucks that she doesn't do as much damage as I'd like her to do. Alright. I have to try to stun this uh, Spectre Tenebria. We didn't get the stun on the Spectre Tenebria. Feels bad. He's gonna get to revive, but we have S3 for whatever unit he decides to S3 here. I still think I win this one. My Spez is too tanky for him, I I'm pretty sure. Alright, so whoever he revives, unless he does this on standard, I think I should be good. And hey, what's up, Grits? She does not strip on her S3, sadly. SVA does not strip on her S3. Alright. So that's fine, because we actually have... Um we have ways to reach the standard, like more than one way. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Alright, so let's let's get rid of this Ruel. Oh, we didn't crit. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Alright, we have S3 back up because the bird is OP. I'll show Spaz as well. Nice. I did not care about the decrease defense. All I cared about was the Oh, I could have gone on the Stenna. Oh, that's a feels bad. I actually could have gone on the Stenna there. Hopefully we dodge at least once. I guess we're just never dodging. The two burns are going to kill me though. Nice. At this point, we pretty much just win from the burn damage alone. And from the cycling, we already have S3 back up soon too. Ooh, no provoke could be bad. Alright, let's try to see if we can get a lucky stun here. No lucky stun. Oh, but the bird? I think we can kill with the burn there. Oh, FCC goes through. Okay. Let's give him a goodbye. Nice! <laughs> that was really satisfying, but really scary. That was... That was... Yeah, I'll show this best in a second. That was scary. <laughs> Way scarier than it should have been, but it, this should die. Yeah, okay. I mean, she survived. It took him so long to kill our, our specimen says. But yeah, that's the whole point of it. That's why she's slow. Uh, the burns are based on her, or her, on, the, on her attack. She does not have that much attack. And she's not fully reforged. But okay, let me show you guys the, the, the specimen. You so far, my MR has 100% win rate. Nice. Nice. So far we can confidently say my MR has 100% win rate, which is really cool to say. But that might be just because I'm a little too low in RTA since I haven't been climbing, because I've decided to have fun instead. So the MLR, um, so we could have done way more damage with the S2. We're missing way too much damage on this S2, because we could have easily killed that standard way earlier. Uh, if we had this maxed out, we are missing a lot of burn chance here, which is why I had to soul burn every single turn. And we're missing a lot of damage, and we are also missing a ton of damage and the guaranteed stun and the and the extra burn chances here, which would again would have let us kill earlier. And we're also missing three reforges, which I'm, I don't get that much attack, but I do get a lot more bulk, right? Which is what I wanted. So all of these will give me a lot more bulk and a lot more effectiveness, make it a lot more reliable for me to land some of the debuffs. Uh, the art I can unball. <laughs> So, because I took a, a Abyssal Crown away from him, I realized my, my, my ball did not have any effectiveness, so I gave him this to give him extra effectiveness and to give crit rate to the team. I almost gave this to MLR until I realized that Crown is just broken on her, right? So, I wanted my MLR to still be able to stun every other turn with the S2. So, I, I had to take away Sage Ball's Crown and had to give it to MLR to make this work. Uh, the specimen says that you guys were asking about, even though we've only used him once today. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. You guys saw me miss the crit. Uh, I can get a little bit more bulk here, which is really nice once I get it. He's decently tanky, but he will definitely die without falling Cecilia, right? So that's that's the big thing is that 
he is relying a lot on Fallen Cecilia. But yeah, I might I might give uh, Ball my Proof of Valor. Right now, it's on my General Purgus. But yeah, nothing crazy. I mean, I'm proud of I'm proud of him. I really want to try Carrot, but I'm really scared of letting Carrot go through. So I'm I'm only gonna play Carrot if I have first pick. But I do want to try out Carrot because I've never played with Carrot, so I've never gotten to feel how how Carrot feels like. All right, but let's go back. That was fun. But the triple resist, I didn't even notice he resisted everything. But yes, that was Cantor said Ara, which is, is, is pretty spicy. I like how slow she is. I like that she's slow, but can speed up with the S2 when she needs it. But I like that she's on the slowest part, that she's a slow unit, because it actually lets the immunity go away. So that's really cool. I don't necessarily have to bring a stripper with her. As you guys saw, I didn't bring a real stripper with her. Because she was so slow, right? She, she let everyone else go before her. My Warhorn, I should put it on General Purgus, honestly. Flurry is 277 speed. My, I have a decently fast Earth Flurry. If we're not banning, what the hell do we ban? Kisei? Do we just ban Kisei? So I don't have any real counters to carry and just first for carry it? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, they banned carry it. Oh, man. I should have expected it, of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. I should have, I should have seen that one coming. Uh, what was I thinking? Why would anyone let carry it through? <laughs> Oh man, of course. Of course. I knew that had to happen once. Uh, so in this scenario, I don't like taking Falconer Clary as much because Basar would be better. So I will be taking Basar instead. I don't know what I want for the other one. This kind of does suck because the last one of Crawl is really good into MLR. I don't really know what I want here. I guess I can go Rylet. I know it's really early to pick Rylet, and Rylet into Last Rider Crawl is kind of inting. But I don't know if I want to go Cleave or if I want to go something else. He looks like he might be going Cleave, right? I should have probably put some anti cleaving in here. We'll slap on Ammo Haste just because I want the extra resist. Yeah, I could see that, Haniel, because, I, I mean, I ha she hasn't died yet. No one really targets MLR. This looks like a cleave team. This looks like a cleave team. I am tempted to put my MLR because I want to showcase her, but he does have a lot of really good tools to stop me. I need something that can speed contest. And something that is like ban worthy for him. Honestly, I might put DJ Bosar. He's a little scuffed, but. It should hopefully deter him from trying to try something crazy. Ooh, this is pre buff holiday Yufin, right? General Pergus? I ban this, and then he probably bans the Basar. Yep. And he'll take turn one. I don't have a lot of ways to deal with Arbiter Builder besides tanking. I should have probably put Spass though. And yes, it will ban both, right? So it will ban both. All right, that's a squishy Cerise at the least. All right, our Rylet dodged the first one. Good job, Rylet. He did not, that's the second one. We are getting an MLR on counterattack. <laughs> Which is nice, but. And I think, I don't know if I have too much push up here. Ideally, I want to S3 with the, um, actually. Do I want to S3 here? I don't know if I want to S3 here or not. Because I kind of want to provoke down the General Purgus. And I think that's a, that's actually what I'm gonna do. Yeah, there we go. That way, um, it's gonna be like that. And we're gonna wait to S3. Oh, I should have done the S3 and killed the RB. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. But we're gonna do this so he can. He hopefully can't kill our Ara. So we'll see how tanky she is. I should have done the S3 and killed the Arbiter Vildred and gotten rid of him. But I got kind of greedy since he was already kind of slocked down. So. Let's see if the bulk is enough. I don't think it'll be enough to survive, but maybe, right? With with how much defense she's got. 
Oh yeah, she's surviving. I'm getting an S3 off, which is nice. Yeah, she's, he's not killing. Yeah, he doesn't get to kill him all right here. <laughs> Joke's on you, I have a tank. Burn them all! <laughs> this character's so fun! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's all coming together. He loses a full turn too. He can try dual attacking with RV, but... He did get the counter attack there with RV, but... Oh, we didn't get a burn? That's... That sucks. Let's do this. I know I'm pushing him up a lot, but... I really need to try to kill that uh, RB. Oh, he took a turn before. So we do have Rylet for late game, so I'm not super worried, per se. Let's kill off the Cerise. And then let's kill off the RV. Yeah, let's kill off the RV. Maybe Abyssal Crown? Nice. Nice. So we did get a whistle crown. I don't even think this RB kills my uh Oh Ryla dodging? Ryla never dodges. I assumed he wasn't gonna dodge. That's why I give him the build he has. Oh, I don't even think he's <laughs> I don't even think he's gonna kill my MLR right here. I think the FCC barrier might be a little too big. Yeah, he doesn't even kill MLR out there. This will kill though. This one will kill. Right? Wow. And that's like missing a ton of stuff. Alright, so he's stunned, so let's just get rid of the General Purgus. <laughs> Dude, this character's so fun! And even if he hit, he doesn't kill. And just... Oh, dude, why are we missing so many crits? Man. That was fun, though. That was fun. That was fun. Emma Aura feels really good. I don't know if it's just the build, but that feels really good. Wow. So far, she has a forward win. I mean, she hasn't lost yet. She feels good. Like, it feels good. Like, I'm being honest, this feels good. And she's not even fully reforged or molen. But four wins to her name. Now I really want a reforger. And yes, I really like Rylet right now. I'll show my Rylet too, because I'm sure someone's going to ask about my Rylet. He, he's not in Moonlight Dreamblade, which I know is bad for most turn 1 scenarios. But I only take him in tank teams with Fallen Cecilia, right? So that's that's why he's the way he is. But this is my Rylet. I'm probably going to give him the next slate. I just want to give him the slate so he can have 100% crit. But I have a really good Rylet. I'm really proud of my Rylet. I, I don't think it's one of... It's, it's, it's one of the better Rylets out there, right? I, I did invest... Very heavily into this Rylet. He, he does have some whale pieces on him. Right? This one could potentially get better, but it's still pretty good. Right? But he, he does have... Like, there is room for improvement. But for the most part, there is a lot of whale pieces on here. Like, this can be definitely improved. But I just... It, I really like the flat health there. So. A lot of nice pieces. And then the MLR, man. I don't know. I mean, she's doing good. I like it. I like it a lot. And missing these reforges. So she could be a much bulkier. Which means that that Stenet would never have killed my MLR. Even with the Arby, it would have just never killed. I don't regret my whale coins. I don't regret what I said on my whale coins. I do not regret spending whale coins on MLR. It was probably one of the funnest things that I could do. Could f as artifact be a good option on MLR? I mean, yeah. Yeah, but the thing about it is, you guys saw Crown, right? Crown kind of kind of carried. 
Crown kind of carried that fight. So without Crown, I don't think we would have won that last fight. Because that General Purgis would have gotten an S3. Would have killed that MLR much earlier. It would have been down to luck from Rylet, which we all know Rylet never hits. Or never dodges. So. But. Yeah, I'm a, a, a F10 as Artifact would be interesting. Because her second S2, her extra attack, would trigger that a lot. That would trigger a lot, especially on counter set. Every time she burned and hit, she would get it. But it's just crown is too good. I don't want to take her off crown because I feel like she'd be useless without crown. Like, like those off turns. I didn't see who had first pick. Who do we not like to see? Let's just ban maid. I don't like seeing maids. F10 it. Oh, he has first pick. Please don't pick carrot. Please don't pick carrot. Okay, I'll pick carrot. I don't care that you have crown. I'll pick carrot into that. I really don't care. I've never tried uh, Carrot, so I, I do wonder how she's going to feel. Champ C. Okay, here's the thing. I, I, I can't take MLR now because he has Champ C. But what we can do is go full cleave. So... That's the thing with... Uh, over he overcommitted really early to counter and Carrot. Because now we can just go cleave. And there's no mate on the board. Well, he has to put another speed there for me to be worried. Okay, he did put another speed thread for me to be worried. Ooh, that's a lot of speed threads. The Kisa just wins the game for him, though. So, I'll have to ban the Kisa. He'll probably stun the top model Luluka, but that's fine. I mean, it's, it is what it is. He needs to do the S2 here and, and stun the top model Luluka. That's his only way of winning this fight. He does get it. I'm actually going to Soul Burn here because I want to be able to potentially kill this Champ C. I don't have attack buff though, so I don't think I kill Champ C here. But I can do significant damage onto the... Uh, Oh, are you kidding me? He actually hit the Rylet. Alright, so we'll do that. We'll provoke down the Cerise. <laughs> this unit is so stupid. This unit is so stupid. Why is this unit fair, bro? And he actually hits my... Dude, that is so... That is some bull... That is some bullshit, bro. <laughs> oh, he got three hits off. So, I mean, my top monocle is literally just dead, right? Still super winnable, but that's dumb. That's so dumb. That is so dumb. Maybe it's my fault for not using... um. Clearly, it must be my fault for not using uh, Moonlight Dream Blade. Now we lose to the crowd, by the way, which sucks. So, feels bad. I'll have to wait, save the S3 for later. Actually, I have to use it now because I don't want him just one-shotting me here. Yeah, that is why MLDB is better. The price to play for Talisman. Oh, man. He really lucks at me, though. Because we, he would lose uh, LQC there, and he would have had no way to deal with Tamano Luluka after that. He would have lost pretty much all the units. We, we, we lose at this point. Kara can't solo this, sadly. As much as I wish she could, not with a burn either. Oh, wait, we have a chance now. This guy has a scuffed crow. Wait a minute. We can potentially win because this guy has a scuffed crow. Dude, this guy's getting the, the most duels of his life, bro. If I do this S3, I automatically kill my... Um... And we have the burn, so it doesn't make sense for us to use it here. 
He's gonna get Lullaby Lynn on the Rylet, even through Miss. Yeah, that's that's some. This LQC should be dead, and so should the series. This should have been an easy game. That's frustrating. That is very frustrating. But I would just like to say that if Riley had dodged one time, if it had dodged the crowd, I would have just won the game outright. Because no LQC, no Cerise, Tomato Lucas, all my full team is at full health. What does he do with Champsy and Crow against the Rylet, right? And it's a low F res Rylet? Oh, that is frustrating. That is so frustrating. But Kara feels broken. That was broken. I almost one shot an LQC. That's kind of broken. And hey, what's up, Jeremy? That is so frustrating, dude. But it is what it is 15%. It's my fault for using Garrett, uh, Carrot. That's all I gotta say. It's my fault for using Carrot because Carrot is a broken unit. So like when you use good units, Smogit no, so they give you worse RNG. Did y'all know that? It's 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 a fact of Smogit. It's it's a secret secret that Smogit doesn't tell you. If you use broken units, Smogit gives you worse luck. So because we were using Carrot, that's why we had really bad luck that match, right? That's 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 like Smogate's secret thing. This is the only reason why uh, Cleave is so good is because it doesn't have that much RNG besides speed RNG. Once you get your Cleave, there's no there's no comebacks. I think you had first pick, but I'm still gonna ban Maid and I'm gonna pick Carrot. Carrot feels really good. I'm sad I couldn't get use MLR in that fight though. But Carrot's busted, so it's 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 my fault for using Carrot. And and Smogate was like, all right, let's balance out the planet by giving him bad RNG this fight. Yeah, yeah, that's why our team member said it doesn't do anything. Okay, I'm still gonna pick Carrot into a Tywin. I don't care, honestly. Why not pick the best DPS in the game that the game has to offer, right? Uh, we're gonna still use Fallen Cecilia. I mean, there's no reason not to. Hopefully, he doesn't put too much anti-control. Because that just means we're gonna pivot back to Cleave. I don't have a Mero, I wish I did though. Is it gonna go full Golden Boys? I haven't seen Golden Boys in a long time. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I I can respect this. I can respect this. And now we go the bird. And Rylet. So we're gonna go the bird. And I know I keep picking Rylet even though he just let me down, but it's because I just, like, as a single target DPS, there's no one like Rylet, right? He's just such a good single target DPS. I could have picked Tom on a Luluka here, and it probably would have been a better option. But then that leaves me susceptible to getting outsped. We are going to try to pick MLR right here. I definitely should have picked Tom on a Luluka there. Man. I'm kind of forced to ban the... Um, forced to ban her. Alright, I'm still going to pick MLR. I know it's not the best thing in the world, and we do have to ban this, because it's guiding light most likely. So, I think the A-Town is going to do a lot of work here. But he has to ban Falcon Clary, right? So that's his four. No Falcon Clary ban. Huh. Why? That's weird. Who do I go on? There's so many targets. Who do I want to kill? Honestly, I should go in the A tower and just get rid of him. Let him take turn one. Dude, this guy has no immunity on his SSB. What the heck? What am I playing? And we'll soul burn here. There's no reason not to. Let's see if we hit the seaside. That would be nice. If, if we don't, we'll still hit the A Tywin and it'll still do good damage. Oh, counter chew. Okay. This is not going to kill, but it's good insurance. Oh, that is so close to killing. He's forced to S3 there. He can hit my carrot. He can hit a lot of other things. Uh, but hopefully this is enough for MLR to kill through. Oh, I forgot that she had that. Or enough for FCC to kill through. I think FCC should be able to kill through this. 
Oh, ammo R counter? Okay, let's see it. It's not gonna be a burn though. Can an FCC S1 kill through this? That's all I wanna know. That's a fast C side. Wait, that is a fast C side. But I have to S1 here, because I don't want her getting the S2. Alright. And we'll still pop the S3 here. Let's see if Carrie can carry me through this match. Nice. We didn't get a single burn, but that's because I don't have a Molagora now. That is very early for an S3. And we are gonna soul no, 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 no I'll save the soul burn for MLR. But we are gonna do this S3 here because I don't want to take the S2 damage. Hey later Colin. Oh man, he got every single decrease defense possible. Alright, we need some cheese with MLR to win this match. All right, Amar, I believe in you. Just uh, proc that Abyssal Crown, right? If I proc this Abyssal Crown, I can win this game. And I get two chances to do it. Are we going to get it? Can we cheese Can we cheese this win? Can you proc Abyssal Crown for me, Amar? Oh, I think she resisted the stun. Let's go! We got him on the comeback. Oh, you're a gorgeous unit. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. We have a long way to go, though. Man, that Deacon's defense is going to start hurting now, though. It's a pure drink seaside, though. So now that she doesn't have a tackle, she doesn't, she doesn't feel as scary. I think this is super winnable, too. I kind of don't want a soul burn because I don't want to hit the general Purgus. So we're just going to do a raw as one to kill. Nice. We stunned the, the two. He has to go S1 onto MLR right here. He's forced to. And I'm pretty sure my fucking Clurry MLR combo just wins here. Right, I think we just lap him too much. All right, Emma still looks like she's gonna keep her hundred percent win rate. Oh, dude, Emma is popping off, dude. All right, this guy's dead, and he just loses to these three, right? Because he can never kill me in time, so he loses. Bro, this unit is so fun, and she's actually really good. She's actually not a bad unit. She actually has 100% win rate for me right now. This was We didn't have MLR in this game, right? This game we just got unlucky. But MLR win. MLR win. MLR win. MLR win. MLR win. win. And this, this, I didn't have MLR in this one. So, so far she has 100% win rate. Wow, that was really satisfying. That crown, man, that is like crown is such a good artifact. So broken, such a broken artifact. And yeah, I, I know uh, Moonlight Dreamblade is usually a, a better artifact overall. And the thing about it is no one really brings immunity anymore. And the cleanses, she's too slow. That's the big thing. With MOR, because she's such a slow unit, if they bring a cleanser, they don't really do much. Like, May Chloe, I have taken her into May Chloe before. And she did pretty good. But it's because she's so slow, May Chloe never hits her. So this is Emma Ara. Um, so, still has a lot of room for improvement. I mean, she's missing a ton of Mola. Which is a lot of damage missed. I think I do want to max out her S1. And I do think I want to max out the S2 and S3. I think I'm going to fully Mola grow her. I think she deserves it. Honestly. I think she's, she's doing good. She's doing really good. She's doing exactly what I expected her to do. So... I'm a big fan. 
I'm a, I'm a believer in MOR. I've always loved control, so this is this is super exciting for me. The fact that I have a unit that's like probably the best control unit, and maybe maybe one day we'll get some imprints for him as well, and then her burns will do a little bit more. So that's her. I mean, she's pretty bulky, right? She's she's really bulky in the defense department because I have a defense ring. And once I reforge it, she'll be a little bit bulkier in the other one. Is stun more powerful than sleep? Yes. Stun is more powerful than sleep because for stun, you can do whatever you want against the unit. For sleep, you have to kind of dodge the unit. So, stun overall is the, the best debuff. But, yeah. That's what we did that time. Uh, we tried the carrot MLR combo. Carrot also feels really broken. It feels weird that people overcommit so hard to countering one unit. It is very, very nice to see people overcommit for that. Will Yuffie and Yui good? Maybe. The thing about it right now is we're not seeing that much last rider crawl, right? Because there's so many strips. There's so much, there's so much aggro. There's so much stuff in the meta right now that we're really not seeing that much, that much last rider crawl. And that was Holiday Yuffie's big gator. The only problem is tomorrow we are getting the Seaside rerun banner, right? So with Seaside getting rerun, that's another one of Holiday Yuffie's huge counters, right? So Holiday, uh, Seaside getting her, her banner right after is huge. Also, this guy is right out of the gate just saying, I'm going to counter your carrot. So good to know. This is, this, is Kisa, uh, this, is, this is by far carrot's worst matchup. But what we're going to do is match his aggro, right? So we could take Basar here. I don't know if I can clear, he's pretty fast, so it could even reach it. But let's do Basar, because I might not just end up, I might just end up banning the, uh, the Kise. So, because I might just end up banning the Kise, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what he picks to see if he overcommits. I want him to overcommit to countering the carrot. Okay, so it looks like he's going Cleave, right? Maybe? Wait, what? Simple Angelica. Is he betting the Basar and letting me keep Carrot? That's weird if he does that. Alright, this is either going to end really good or it's going to end uh, beautifully. But we're going to go double control. We're going to go full control team. So the Sage Ball is basically useless, right? The Ammo Ken could be a problem for us. Yeah, that Mokan's going to be a problem for us. But everyone else is kind of weird. So we have a full control team against what he has. Can you ever Chloe the Kise? Uh, I'm not sure. Hey, give, me, give me a second. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Oh, that's going to suck for him. Wow, all your little buffs are going to get stripped. He will get a lot of damage in, though. Can we just kill the Landy? The only thing I'm worried about is if we don't kill this Landy, he gets a free S3. But I still want a Soul Burn because, I mean, I could save it for this uh, A Tywin, but that looks like it's an ER Ammo Ken. Let's see if I can strip the immunity off, though. That's what I really want to try to strip. Emu? Okay, he kept the Emu. Oh, that is a proof of Valor Sage Ball. Okay. A time will cleanse, right? Oh, he didn't even take off the immunity. We're forced to S3 here, right? We just have to. Alright. This is the big... I mean, he, he only gets a 15% CR push, right? Which honestly might be better for us because this makes it so... Uh, wait, the Mokin doesn't even have anything. Never mind. We'll reveal everything again. <laughs> Take it off. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, let's see this. We stunned the Landy, we didn't stun the Sage Ball. So hopefully we get it on the on the comeback part. Ideally we land the stun on the Sage Ball here. So let's stop. Give a little snap. Let's see if he has oh man, we actually crit on the SML Ken. We did not stun, even though we should have been able to. But we did stun the Sage Ball, which is one of the big ones I needed to hit. This will kill our MLR. That sucks. 
And he gets a huge heal. I forgot about Simple Angelica. Man. I think we could have actually hit the ML can. We could have actually hit the, the martial artist can too. That's the sad part. I think we lose now though. The burn damage is not going to be enough to, to kill. Do I kill the Landy or do I kill the Sage? The Honestly, we should be able to lap the Mokan. Alright, so he should die here. We should have probably gone for the Sage Ball. Hindsight. Yeah, this looks like it's an ER Sage Ball. It's kind of worrisome. At least my Sage Ball will be able to revive. Man, that sucks. I think this is an Ephraim Sage Ball. It's one of the cooler builds that he has. He's gonna full heal here too. I don't think this survives. And he gets a heal off of it too. And we get a very short window of time where this unit can die. I think he has one more turn and then he can S3 again, yeah. Okay, so now we leave Emokel alone while we get rid of the Sage Ball. Or try to get rid of the Sage Ball. Should I even S3 here? Or should I just wait? I think I might wait. This is an FRS Sage Ball. It's actually a very well built one too. He can S2 me here, and I lose uh, a turn, but I don't think he's going to do that. I think he prefers getting the cycling. Hmm. I still want to wait. That's the thing. I want to wait for as long as possible so the carrot does the most damage as possible. And so I know I can one-shot him, right? Because if we don't one-shot him and he gets an S3, that's, that's really bad. Although I think he's going to get S3 the next turn, but... Should be okay. Okay, so he does have lower uh, ER now. <sighs> this sucks. Lag? Okay. The ammo can kill sp Oh, he doesn't kill FCC. That's huge. Alright, and now we have to go for this. Hopefully we land some burns. And I have to kill the Sage Ball here, right? Because he has S3 back up. Alright, we lose. GG. God damn it. This Sage Ball is just going to S3 me again. Oh, man. I I shouldn't have done what I did there with Carrot. I should have waited one more turn. Feels bad. We lose to the Sage Ball there. Oh, we didn't get the second burn. Feels bad. I was hoping we'd get the second burn on the Sage Ball and then he would just die. That was the first MLR I lost. I lost because control. Feels bad. Feels bad. I think I should not have done the carrot S3 there because Sage Ball would have been provoked for one more turn and I could have waited till the next turn and just sacked my A Tywin with an S3. Hey, I'm got your L to reach uh, our, our champion Hulk. So that's what we got for playing control. We, we could have won that one, but ML Ara had to stun the ML Ken or put more barns up, but that's just us not having Mola, right? Same thing with the carrot. Our carrot would have killed with an S3, S1 if I had Mola Gora at her combos. This is why you Mola Gora your units, because there will be so many scenarios where you are like one hit away from just winning, but you don't win because you didn't Mola Gora something. And that damage was equivalent to my 
Carrots, S3, and S1 being more guard, and that extra, like, 20% damage from the S1, S3 hits would have made the difference between me killing that Sage Ball and him surviving, right? And had we killed, had we killed there, it would have been perfect. Also, the fact that he's putting, that's a very early OQC. I am not forced to put any unit that could get stopped by that. Granted, most knights are dark that are really, that I have that are really good. Besides Crow. And I do want an Aureus holder. So we have the bird. Who do, who do I want to bring? We can bring Ross. I haven't bring Ro brought Ross in like ages. So let's bring Ross. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That extra little percentage matters a lot in the long run. Like it's it's incredible how little some things make it. How big of an impact some things do. Look, do y'all like this team? Look how free to play this team looks. Have I ever done seen a judge keys in RTA? No, I've never seen a judge keys in RTA after after season one. Ah, uh, crooked. Yeah, I'm taking it easy this season. Why am I taking it easy this season? Because I said last season, if if what you call it. I said last season, if they didn't include any rewards or didn't make any changes this season, there's no reason for me to climb. Isn't this just a force band? We can't bring MLR out here, sadly. Like, aren't these just force bands? I do want the Royal skin, that's why I'm already champion. I mean, I'm in champion, right? Champion's really easy to reach. But, is Ross good in RTA? Yeah, Ross is pretty good. I can ban whatever he puts last, and I should be okay, assuming he doesn't have, like, dummy fast units. He has no real reach for these two, right? He has to ban the Stenna. Oh, he bans the Monoluka. I don't have to S3 with Carrot. That's the thing. I don't have to S3 with Carrot. He has no reach for Stenna. I don't know how he's going to get to me. I mean, I have a Ross too, protecting. Let's see. That is a very fast team. Eh, we'll just get him back on the loop around. Do I want to S3 here? Nah, let's, we'll get it back in the loop around. I mean, there's no reason for me to. And we'll do the S3 here in a second. He has to hold off as well. Alright, that's fine too. Yeah, I'll give you the turn. Very, very old school team on the right. I'm just gonna start. I'm just gonna sit on all my souls though. I can legit sit on all these souls for like forever, right? And not care. There's literally no reason for me just to chill. Also, Elena both looked amazing. Elena actually looks like a really good unit. I should see stun. I don't want to let this LQC. I want an LQC to go now to use her S3 now rather than sooner rather than later. There's too many debuffs to get through, so I'm just gonna carry it as one. He has to put defense buff. That's fine. Whatever. You know, you do you. He has to hit Ross, right? That's the only target he really. Hit. Why is he going for carrot? That's weird. He just gave her a barrier. I can legit sit on these souls like all game and just chill. Yep. Oh, he's going for back in your clurry. Interesting. Honestly, I just feel like doing S1. Trying to get rid of some of these buffs. Maybe try to get rid of the immunity. Or he can resist. You know, that's fine too. But I can legit just wait. And then just wait until Frenzy, and then just Frenzy the center. Alright, we can probably do the S3 now, try to force something. Maybe try to get it, rid of some debuffs. 
Start doing some good damage. I mean, Carrot cycles this skill like crazy, so... Ooh, that's nice. I should have soul burned it. I don't think I have the damage to kill her here, sadly. So I'm not gonna go all in. I'm just gonna keep waiting. The only problem is Ross is gonna be going with Carrot, which... I mean, I guess I can do some detonate damage here. Since he's just gonna cleanse it anyway. Maybe get a decreased defense. Nice. Alright. And he still has S3, so I have to hold on to my S3. Unless we just get rid of this, um... Let's just get rid of the Lilius. Why not? Oh, wait, the Lena has S1 still. That's a, that's, that's an int right there. She can just cleanse it. That's a big int. I just legit let him cleanse two debuffs right here. He's gonna get to cleanse the decreased defense, and he's gonna get to cleanse off the burn. Oh, he, yeah, that, that, that still sucks too. He can try to kill something here. I wonder what he goes for. He doesn't have the souls to do a double dunk. And that would also leave him with no immunity if he decides to do S3 here. So I wonder who he goes for. Does he go for Pikini Clary? I don't think he kills Carrot. Oh, he actually killed my Carrot. Holy cow. That's impressive, actually. That is quite impressive. Alright, now we're going to use all these souls that I've been sitting on. I still think he has one turn. Yeah, he does. So we can kill her here. Oh, are you kidding me? He got the immunity back. Alright. It's okay, we didn't get a decreased defense, so. He can't horse me here, thankfully. So we should get one more turn. And I'm just gonna go off on this LQC, because that's his only real damage threat. Alright. And we should have enough souls to just kill with Stena here. Even through the Aureus. And the Adam and Shield that they both bring. Let's see. Sorry I haven't been reading the chat. I'll, I'll reply to it in a second, but... And let's get rid of this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's what I like to see. And he has no way to reach the, the stand in. So, he lost that draft. I don't know what his draft was for. He overcommitted to countering Carrot and had zero way to deal with um, a stealth, stealth team. That was... A really bad draft on his part. He way overcommitted to countering F. Clurry and my carrot. And was did not do anything against Stanley that whole time. Way too much single target damage. He kind of drafted himself in a corner. But alright, let me read some of the chat that I've been missing. And Alright, alright. Buff-wise, I was thinking more about the buffs, right? I was thinking about more of the buffs that are coming out with Violet and with... Um, Elena and stuff, and I realized there might be a little bit more. Yeah, Elena was an interesting pick. Uh, uh, overall, there's more. Um... There's some really interesting buffs that are doing. So the first big one, I actually think that's gonna make a big difference, is going to be Violet. The more I think about Violet buff, I'm like, man, Violet looks kind of clean, right? Because F10 is really popular, you know, as she's been for almost a year now. So F10 is still really, really dominant, right? But, because of Violet's new buff, he always will dodge and counter on a Fairy Tale Denebria. So you get a free 2 stacks against f 10 if not 3, which means that you get against f 10 you can theoretically immediately get all the way to an S3 by Violet's turn 1. That's really good, right? That's a, that's a pretty solid counter, right? The other thing that's really nice is, again, he starts with the dodge 
So you don't actually have to make Violet that fast. I might actually make my Violet slower. He can kind of be like an Emo Ken because there's no reason for him to be fast. He doesn't need it anymore because he already starts with dodge. He wants to be counterattacking and he'd rather be a little bit more bulky, right? So I think he doesn't really need... And we're going to be testing a lot of those units out, right? Because I already have my Violet build and full, almost fully Mulligore it out. So that's awesome. That's really good. You can actually do like... So I'm probably going to be taking away... I'm going to be changing these boots... Instead of speed, I'm probably going to be changing to HP. Like, HP or defense, right? Because there's no need, right? And then you can drop the crit rate all the way down to 84%. Because when he gets carrot, when he gets apple, not carrot. When he gets apple, he will be also have a higher chance of dodging. So, he has a lot more dodge chance. Has the counter from the start of the battle. I think he'll actually do his job very well, right? Of countering water units. And the big ones to know, RF 10A... Kise not really, but I mean, he, he's a counter to Kise. A very good counter to Kise if you do need that. And he always has done okay against Cesar Bologna, right? Because Cesar can never hit him. But Cesar can still do damage to him. And Cesar doesn't have to trigger his counterattack response. So that part kind of still sucks. The other thing is that every time you counterattack with this S1, you get CR pushing. Which is why I also mentioned he really doesn't need that much speed. I really think you can drop the speed requirement way lower. L drop some of the crit rate. Because he gets it from the apple. And give him a ton more health and a ton more defense. And make it come like an ML can type thing. Yeah, he doesn't need speed. Right? So that's really cool. Because this S1 will give him the CR that he needs to take turns. Right? So that's cool. He doesn't want to take turns either. Because all he's going to do if he takes a turn is get the small buff. That cleanses in the heal. And he's still probably not, If he's too fast, he won't get to S3. Because you need to make sure you have 5 focus to get the reset. So that was cool. I'm definitely looking forward to using him more. I think he, he's already a really cool unit, and I'm glad they gave him an identity. I think this buff makes get, makes him have a really good identity in, in what he's supposed to do in the game. And is actually, like, doing it really well. The other character that I think is going to be a little bit more significant than I want to give credit for is actually Elena. Because we all know Cleave is going to be really popular, right? With Cleave getting Strasse and Operator Cigarette being so strong now... Elena shuts those down super fast because now with this, you get 50% CR push. And the way I have mine built is hopefully enough Ephraim to resist Cerise. So if you resist a Cerise S3, they are not cutting you, right? You're getting 50% CR push. 50% CR push. That's incredible for, for countering Cleave, right? You can just outright stop Cleave. If the, if the Cerise doesn't land restrict... You automatically win, right? Uh, she is still affected by Polites, which is why Cleave will always have a way to come back because this S2 actually will trigger Polites' S2, right? So she still she still loses to Polites. Um, honestly, this change was more of an EE than an actual buff, and the uh, damage reduction also makes her really good into Cleave teams because it's it's one of the higher damage reductions for the team. Uh, counter set is still also really really strong on her and really good for anti control. Although anti control is not. Usually, usually you want things that are immune or dummy high F rest because F10 is F10 is now or 200 effectiveness again So it's really hard to dodge. So that buff was actually pretty good. That was actually a pretty big buff I'm actually excited to use her as well. Who else was getting buff? Operator Cigarette is a no-brainer. This unit's gonna be r ridiculous. Effectiveness is not needed on her anymore Ideally, I would want my Operator Cigarette to be faster and have more damage, which is of course that's what every unit wants, but She's gonna be killing out, out the gate, right? She's gonna be killing out the gate because if she if that extra ratio to the S2 is enough to actually kill like a squishy unit or or kill a carrot without attack buff, that'd be pretty significant. Although killing a carrot without attack buff seems kind of hard. Um, so that's cool. And then the ammo can buffs. I am actually I actually did end up getting ammo can. I am gonna try to finish the Moonlight Blessing. I only have one left, and I will actually have them fully made. This is a placeholder. But, he, it's still weird to me that the S3 gives him CR push. That still doesn't make sense to me too much. Why he would want a CR push on the, when you don't have S3. Because you want that attack buff, so you're going to be using the S3 as soon as you can use it. And he still has all of his old counters. He didn't get anything new to make him better, right? So that's, that's tough. 
But yeah, 50% is a lot. Um, so that's cool. And yes, Violet actually get can get 100%. And Crooked Rocket, Violet gets 100% against water. Which is why Violet is really good into water teams, especially into F10A. So, that's cool. But yeah, he still loses to everything he used to lose to. I really don't know what the buff does for him. To be completely honest with you, he loses to all the things that he already loses to. The only thing that made him nicer is that it's easier to build him. That's legit the only thing they gave him. Aside from the CR push, which still doesn't make sense to me, the only thing that they gave him is easier to build because he'll have an extra 30% CR uh, FRS. And he needs no crit because all his moves crit unless you're doing regular S1s, right? So there's, there's some stuff that just doesn't make sense to me. Right on on his on his kit, of why did it decide to go with certain things that it did? It's kind of like a kind of like a head scratcher there for for martial arts skins. But I hopefully haven't done for when the patch drops. Although I probably won't because I had to rush build the MLR. So let's go back to RTA, and let's go back to adding carrot because I feel like when we pick carrot, fights are weird. I'm not used to picking carrot, but the counters to carrot people seem to have them. It's just. Carrot still just wins because you still have five units you can pick from. Yeah, Raju, if he could hit uh, stealthed units, that would be really cool. Landy still destroys Ken. Stannis still destroys Ken. F10 still destroys Emil Ken uh, because you can actually hit him and debuff him. Who else destroys Emil Ken? Riot to an extent. Seaside still does. Like, he doesn't, he didn't get anything new, he just got slightly better. But yeah, it's, I can tell that Carrot, when I first pick Carrot, it feels so much more predictable. I know exactly what the opponent's going to be doing. So I get four units to respond to my opponent's uh, units. Briar Witch, to an eh, kind of, not really. So. Do I want to use Carrot or not? If I want to use Carrot, I'll have to ban her. Because she puts so much pressure on the board. It's really nice to have Carrot, but we can't really use MLR us, the teams I want to use with MLR because Carrot is just too polarizing. And I can't let people get away with like over committing to, to countering Carrot. So we'll, 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 we'll ban Carrot this time. So he took the Crow. That's fine. We'll take the uh, All Faithful. Dude, Falcon and Clear is so not such a nice unit. Ooh. Ooh. That's very heavy on the um the earth side. Very, very heavy on the earth side. I really want to pick a Robbie here. I know I, I although I know I shouldn't. I don't think I need to do anything against this yet, but I am gonna pick Orway to put a damage threat. And then and also to stop the Stenet potential pick. And I have slot for one more support before MLR. Or I could go for one more DPS. I'm really tempted to put uh, uh, Ravi in here. We'll put Spess. Why not? Let's play with Spess. I don't play with Spess enough. I don't need to. Because he's a, he's a fun unit. So I'm definitely banning the Basar. <laughs> Man, MLR is not the best here though. Sadly. Sadly, this is not the right pick, but we're still going to use it because I really want to play her. <sighs> he probably bans the Falconer Clary. He probably bans the Falconer Clary. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? That makes no sense. Wait, why? That's the one unit I'm like... I don't even have a stripper. That does not make sense. Yep, such a good theme for her. Against her. Oh, it's a wondrous potion, but he did not cleanse the, um, he did cleanse the provoke. Alright, we need to gab. Are y'all ready? Are y'all, give me the power of gab. No gab. <laughs> we did not get the power of gab. Feels bad. <laughs> oh, no. 
Oh, no. Oh, no, that's a tragedy waiting to happen. We didn't get the power of Gab. It's over, y'all. The only thing I can hope for is that I outspeed this LQC. If I outspeed this LQC, we're chilling. Let's go! We outspeed the LQC. This is perfect. Okay, we do outspeed the LQC, which means we're not taking the dunk damage this turn. That's pretty big, actually. He could still do the dunk, but... It wouldn't make too much sense. Alright, we do have attack buff. I don't know if we kill, but we have to go for it. So, let's see, Spess. Can you kill this? We didn't get the kill. Feels bad. We should be able to kill her through the loop back. Unless he has a, a lifesteal one. And Arby's dead, right? That, he's I already kind of knew he was gone. Oh, we can't kill because of the... I keep forgetting Simple Angelica has that passive. Ah, oh, okay, we lose here now. Feels bad. Unless he misses, right? But come on, let's be honest. How many times do you ever, have you ever seen today that we actually got the good... Oh, he actually missed. Nice. Dunk damage will still do a lot, though. Yeah. And we no longer have the... the, the... I don't think this game is winnable. Even if we get a perfect uh, AoE stun. Yeah, the Simple Angelica, man. That's a, that's a new unit I haven't seen in a while that I've been seeing a lot more often now. Yeah, we lose now. Simple Angelica, that, that might have been the right ban. Huh. Like, thinking about it? Man, that was so close to killing his LQC, though. I forgot about the Simple Angelica passive, though. I did forget about the Simple Angelica passive. The only thing we could have hoped for was for the Simple Angelica to dual attack with Crow. Or with the LQC. But he didn't do with either of those, so our RB didn't get to finish off the job. Which means he got the dunk. Although, even with the dunk, I don't think the 3v3 we would have won it. I think Landy would have killed us there. Sadly. Let's take Crow, man. We're seeing too many Crow. This unit's pretty good. But yeah, I, there's a lot more simple Angelica. That's cool. That's cool to see. She's a really good unit. Oh, you're right. She always does go with the highest attack. I forgot about that small detail. I always thought she was random. I forgot that she wasn't random. And this guy looks like she, he's cleaving us. We'll put the Fallen Cecilia if we need her. But let's put some... Let's put some Chunk. Yeah, I forgot that she always... Yeah, Simple Angelica is actually a really solid unit. So, I'm surprised that the, that the LQC wasn't the one with the higher attack then. Oh, control. Let's put a Robbie. We'll leave him keep. We'll let him keep the other two. And we need another Brewster Breaker. Landy would be pretty good, but MLR against this team. It's a little sus, but we'll take her. Why not? I haven't. She hasn't gotten enough play yet. We got the Crow and, and the F Clary though, which are pretty good units there. And we're gonna let him keep the RB. He could put Stan in here though. Hey Tywin? Oh, he's very chunky. He probably bans the um, ML Haste. Or the, yeah, he bans the ML Haste. All right.
Oh, that is a fast landy. He'll take turn one. Do I want to mitigate? I want him to S3 now. Rather, I want him to S3 sooner rather than later. Let's cut some of the Arbiter Vildred's damage though. So we'll we'll do the S3 on the RB. Just to cut some of the RB damage so we don't take uh, double S3. Try to let our cross set up, hopefully. We'll let him take turn one. Ooh, we did get a counter. This actually might kill here. <laughs> Alright, I wonder if he has threes here. So he does Oh wow, that is a high FRS A Tywin. I was not expecting that. Or a high FRS Tywin. You don't see those every day, that's a thing. Yeah, that's a high effect in this Tywin. I want to do it now because I want to be able to stun the, the Arbiter Villager. So I know this is kind of weird. Oh, we didn't even... It's whatever. Oh, man. This is one of those teams. So he already did the... Um... The cleanse, so he shouldn't be cleansing again. But we are—that means we are eating this arbiter Vildred. Gab, no gab. Okay, and no souls either. That's nice. And it's Elris sword, which means if that our uh, crow gets to survive here, which he probably will, we'll we'll horse the Atawin, so we don't have to deal with the Atawin. Okay, we resist. Nice. Nice. I'm still gonna go for the S3 because there's no reason for me not to do the S3 here. I needed to push up the crowd. <laughs> Come on, fucking Eclery. Let's go, fucking Eclery. <laughs> oh, you never let me down. Oh, I need to try to kill this Atawin. I don't know if I have enough damage too, though. <sighs> we don't have enough. But that should push our, our Rob enough. If he keeps doing big S3s. Maybe we'll do a... Oh, we can't counterattack on this skill, so... Maybe we should have just done the S3. Oh no, not like this. Yeah, we lost this one. I'm trying to think if there's anything different I could have done. I had to kill the a Tywin when I did. I could have probably done an S2 or killed the Landy. I should have killed the Landy, shouldn't I have? I should have killed the Landy. Because if the Landy's dead... Yeah, we get full team stun, but at least we get to have a team, so. Okay, that was on me. That was on me. I think I could have done it. I could have played that one better. Yeah, my Ravi needed to hit that Landy there. If my Landy, if my Ravi hit the Landy, it would have been fine, but she didn't do much. It is what it is. Let's not ban carry because everyone's going to ban it away from me anyway. Ooh, Arbiter Vildred ban. I don't have any answers to carry, so if you first fix carry, I'm just kind of screwed. I could pick the craw away from him. <laughs> I'll do that. Why not? Do you think that Bruce will be more prevalent? Uh, no, I think that Cle Cleese Trust will be more prevalent. I don't think that I say units Strassi can survive any form of cleave his base stats don't allow it but yeah Ravi has fallen off a lot it's really hard to play Ravi now because there's there's a lot of damage on the board all right this guy looks like he's going cleave but I still don't want to overcommit to it I could be a toxic gamer and put double soul weaver I honestly might put double soul weaver why not 
Why not? I still have one DPS slot anyway. He could he could put double tank and mess me up though. The problem is though, if he goes full cleave, I don't think I have enough knights to <laughs> to work off the his engage. Cause he's gonna ban the crawl, right? That I'm pretty certain enough. He bans the crawl. So I don't have a damage mitigator. That's a weird last pick FCC, because now I can just ignore everything else. Now, who's my last pick though? I need someone that's gonna. This gives me Adamant Shield, which is nice, but we don't get to play MLR. And this does really bad into Kise and into Tomoka. YOLO. Let's go MLR. And he most likely bans the Crow, right? That's most likely his ban. He has the Kise to do with my Carrot. If we ban the Kise, then he has Cerise. He most likely bans Carrot. But the top model Luka makes my Ruel useless. Let's ban the top model Luka. I don't want him getting turns. I want to be able to heal with Ruel in case he, he leaves the Ruel open. Okay, see, so he, he didn't just end up just banning the carrot. So, MRR is going to have to carry the damage on her own. No pressure. But yeah, I don't, I don't think that uh, Strasse is going to be a Brewster unit because right now Brewster is the worst it's ever been unless it's carrot and crown. Those two are the only two viable Brewsters that exist right now. Alright, he didn't get Gab. Nice. Thank God. He's gonna hit the MLR right here. That makes the most sense. If we do this S3, Landy still doesn't get to do anything unless we S2 with Crawl. But I kind of want to S2 with Crawl. Alright, so let's protect the MLR. We don't have S3, so we just have to S1. No burn, but we did get Abyssal. What's good? Artifact Abyssal Crown, Sean. For sure, Abyssal Crown on her. That's the best one. But yeah, I honestly think that Brewster is the weakest that it's ever been. Like, Brewster just feels really weak right now. Alright, sometime, one of these days, our MLR will proc a counter and it'll be great. I'm surprised they didn't soul burn this. Counter attack? Lag? No counter. So I did cheese a stun here with uh, DJ Basar. He should go for the S2 though. I don't know why he's not going. Yeah, there it is. All right, we lose this if our MLR doesn't do anything, All right? Ah, oh, he's just gonna S3 with SCEC here. All right, we need a counter proc here. We need MLR to do a counter, and we need it to burn, and we need it to go into the S3 at S2. Or not. <laughs> Man, she's really letting me down. And it's gonna... I, I watch this, it's gonna dual attack with Landy. Uh, I already know. I already know. Oh, I didn't dual attack with Landy. There we go, finally! A little too late, but... Oh, and you missed the burn. Okay. Okay, Amalara. I see how it's gonna be. At least you got the stun there on the... On the Landy, which we really needed. So that was pretty clutch. Can you stun this? No. He still doesn't have the big S. This should kill uh, 
MLR for sure. Sasha Thanes? What the frick? Who does that? He's getting unlucky though, which is good for us. Alright. Can our cross survive? And can he outspeed this landy? Okay, he is he is outspeeding the landy. Let's bring Emilara back. We'll give her another chance. Since she didn't do it before, we'll give her another chance. Alright, Landy or or MLR, I'll give I'm giving you another chance to pop off. And we're gonna get rid of this landy now. And I'm pretty sure it's the Cerise that's on um on the artifact. Oof! That was close. Barely killed. Oh, he's gonna go to MLR right here. Even though it's not gonna do damage to her, he just wants to reset. Stun? Yay! Let's go! Stun? Stun? No stuns? It's rigged! <laughs> oh man. Our, our DJ Basar has done more stuns than our... Has done more stuns than our MLR. And I'm gonna just do this because I want the... I want, I want defense buff, so... Stun, please? Something? Resist. Alright, so we did stun. <laughs> we did stun. We did stun. DJ Masar's trying. Where are you, Amuara? Where are your stuns? And this is not killing, even if he wanted it to. There we go. Stun? Burn? Okay. And we win. Let's go! Alright, we did it. <laughs> God damn! Bro, I had to baby her the whole time. She legit got babied by Royal and Crow. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> she didn't do anything. She didn't even S3 this whole time. <laughs> DJ Basar did more work this fight, stunning, than our MLR did. <laughs> And yeah, this I was gonna sober onto the series. The series was dead. The series was super dead. He didn't even give me the satisfaction of beating him. Ugh. Man. Come on, Amara. What are you doing? What's happening? Let's talk. What why why are you not stunning? Why are you not stunning, Amara? What's happening? I gave you good gear. You're supposed to work. DJ Basar is over here carrying the team. So that was fun though. That was fun. That was frustrating, but it was fun. What do you like banning when you want to first pick Carrot? Maid. I've just been banning Maid because Maid just makes the games way harder for me. And it's very likely someone will ban Carrot, so I, I don't have to do it myself. Right, let's go with Juan Cecilia again. Honestly... Counter set proc one two times that game. Counter set proc two times that game. So it did okay. I am so tempted to put a crow. I am so tempted to pick my crow here. Even though he put uh, everything else, I am so tempted to pick, just pick crow here. I don't want to reveal my top model Luka too early because then he'll just be able to counter it with four picks. But I don't feel like thinking either, and I know Tamara Luka works well with Viking Victory. So let's grab her. Don't do this, by the way. You're not going to win a lot of games if you do this, because he has three picks to hard punish my Tamara Luka pick. He could go Basar. Yeah, Cerise. And he can go like, yeah, look at that. Look at that, he knew. Uh, I can't go MLR though, because I have to punish him going for a full control team. Do I though? Am I really scared of the Cerise? 
I'm not really that scared. I'm tempted to put Violet though. Would this be an int? Would this be considered inting if we pick Violet here? I'm just trying to have fun. I already, I'm not climbing to climb. I already know I'm not getting Legend this season because I'm way too far off. So, she's holding my stuns hostage, yeah. Do I care that he has an army? Oh, that was a good call. That was a good call, Ben. All right, Let, let's see it. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with the army. You know, we trust in our Violet and our uh, Sustain. Dang, this dude's fast, fast. Okay, let's see how much dodging our Violet wants to do. See, right here, Violet would have, like, post buff Violet would have been perfect here. He didn't dodge there, but he would have had a 100% chance to dodge. Oh, no, he doesn't because it's advantageous element. So, against Ceres, he's not 100%, but it's pretty high. All right, we dodged two times. All right, we're counter-attacking. Um, just so we don't take too much damage. I do not have Infernal Kawasu, sadly. No, I don't. So, Tom Luka, if... If she doesn't get hit by this Arbiter Vildred, we will get to kill his Arby with a Tomoka S3. And we will automatically win this game. So, as long as this Arby hit Tomoka. Of course he hit Tomoka. Why did I expect anything else, you know? Tomoka Luka right here, I would have been able to S3 her. And Destina's S3 pushes her up all the way to the front again. Alright, Violet, you have a very long road ahead of you, but I believe in you. Gab? No Gab? <gasps> Scuffed Arby. Oh, he actually hit mine. <laughs> Alright, watch. Ceres is going to pull every single time. Bro, what are you doing? Bro, what? Are, does he know that Violet has a 100% dodge chance? He should just been going for S1s, dude. He's inting. He's inting. He's actually inting. Alright, let's push Violet up. Let's kill his RV. This is not buff Violet, by the way. This is regular Violet. Y you're inting, dude. You're actually throwing. You're gonna get soloed. What are you doing? How do you kill Violet? <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's really funny. We won it somehow. Somehow. Oh, man. This is pre-buff, by the way. Which is why I think Violet's gonna be a really good unit. Yeah, Violet is gonna be a really good unit after buff. He's actually a really solid... Like, imagine this team. It's just like, you can never use this team again if Violet is there. Use the Force Band. Yeah. S2-ing my Violet? That was like... You should have been going for S1s and hoping that you pull your Arbiter Villager and kill my Violet in time. So, that was... I know it's not MLR, but this is what it looks like when I have fun because I, I'm not pushing for legend. I, I don't know if you guys like this or not, if you like it more when I'm more competitive, but this is me having fun, right? This is this is not a team I would normally use. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm just having fun, and it's working. I mean, I'm so low that it doesn't really matter. That's why I'm going, I'm just going for fun matches. Yeah, it should be a fun balance patch. This this was pre 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 patch too, so Violet will be good.
In session one? That's supposed to be today. I'm supposed to be inting. But like, it looks like my non-meta teams are doing pretty good. Nice. It's good to know that I'm not too scuffed. I'll show it afterwards. I'll show it afterwards because I already got into this one. <laughs> but I hope you guys... It's nice to not have to stress about winning and trying to climb. I'm, I haven't even looked at my points. I'm legit just chilling. Pick Violet against... I don't know if I can pick them again because they have to pick a lot of water units. So... One thing that's cool, though, is if they pick a lot of water units, you guys know what that means? You can first pick Carrot and have another counter to all the counters, right? So I could first pick Carrot, right? And they'll overcommit to water, and then I could pick Violet and then win after. So. Big brain time. Oh, he took Paul and Cecilia. What a guy. What a guy. I feel so such a meta slave with doing this, though. And we'll pick Basar here. Both these units will do Basar. He still hasn't put anything that I'm particularly threatened by. <laughs> ban carrot and just go violet. Why not instead of banning carrot? Why not pick carrot? If you can't if you can't beat him, join him, you know. Uh Sean, the buffs will be happening next week. So that will happen next week. But yes, I don't have uh, I don't have Inferno Kawasu, and I would rather do a full full burn team. So, I right, I'm still waiting for his threat. Right, he needs an Arby or something. He needs something that 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 scares me. Shoot, I am so tempted to just go full cleave myself. See, let's try something fun. I don't know if this will work. In the future, I know this will work right in the future i know this will work but right now i don't think it will just because uh last right across tend to have a pretty good this would actually be a legitimate team that i could actually run next season once operator cigarette gets her buff because i'm getting i'm guaranteed a strip and i have to ban this anyway so we'll just ban that he should ban the carrot although that means he's taking a ton of debuffs so this would be a guaranteed pushback, which is really good. See, like right now, he banned Basar, right? Because he still has a chance to cheese me. But in the future, though? Oh, no, that's terrible. What he just did would have been like, okay, you just gave me a free 20% CR pushback. I get a guaranteed carrot. You're taking an attack buffed carrot with... Like right now, he can probably resist, right? But I would have been guaranteed my turn. That's super scary. I still might get it just because I don't know what uh, Afres he has, but I don't have any Afres on this on this uh, Operator Secret, sadly. Let's see how many we hit. This would have been all guaranteed, by the way. So he gets the FCC, gets to the S3 here. In the future, that won't be the case. So in the future, this would not have worked. Oh, let's go, Aura. Let's go, Aura. Take out those skill nos. Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. It's all coming together. Let's just burn them, stun them, and win it. Oh my goodness. This is dirty. Oh, dude, he doesn't even get to move. <laughs> Emma Aura, let's go. Let's go, Emma Aura. Let's just burn him, Carrot. Just burn them all. Just, just, just put them out of their misery. Just let's just bop this out of existence. Just night, 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 night. Oh my God, this is so dirty. This guy didn't even get to play the game. You didn't even get to play the game, dude. I wonder how it feels to not get to play the game, man. <laughs> oh my god, dude. And the thing about it is, he went right before my cross, so like, there's zero way he wins this. He just automatically loses here. And just keep burning him! 
<laughs> Even though he has a uh, barrier and stuff, but that's just dirty, dude. That was really satisfying. That was probably one of the most satisfying things I've gotten to do in Epic 7. This is why I love Control. Oh man, this is so fun. This is so great. That was so great. That was everything I could have asked for and more. Oh, that felt too good. <laughs> Alright, let me show the build because I haven't shown the build in a while. Oh man, he did have CCS3, so that was perfect. Yeah, oh man. Oh man, oh man. Imagine picking a full meta team and just getting wrecked by MO era. Granted, I was playing pretty meta. I was playing Carrot, which feels like cheating. Honestly, this unit feels like cheating. That is true. He did get to play the game. He did get to click a couple of buttons. He did get to play a couple of buttons. But, oh, that's just dirty. That was just dirty. That was that was beautiful. That was probably the bet. Clip it and, and call it a day. And yes, she is on speed boots. So let me show the, uh, the builds since you guys have been asking. I've been using some pretty unique uh, units. I do have a video on my channel posted like two weeks ago where I have all my units except the new ones, right, that are there. But this is my MLR ROM. She only has 131 effectiveness. Not as high as I would like it to be, but it hits most of the things this meta. And ideally, once I Molagora some... Uh, not Molagora. Once I reforge some of these things, I'll get her up to like 140, 145-ish. Probably 140, right? From from what I'm looking at. It'll probably be 140, especially if we get a, a better reroll for this because I think we ran out of the effectiveness ones. So sadly, we ran out of the effectiveness ones, but we can definitely push a little bit more. I think like two more percentage here and then a couple percentage there. We can get it to 140. Um, she's missing a lot of health that she will be getting when I decide to reforge her. And she's going to be significantly bulkier. And she's on speed boots. So it's H attack. I didn't have a better HP percentage ring. And her defense is so high, it almost makes more sense to go for a defense percentage ring. Because you get so much more stats out of it. And then go for the flats and the, the mains. And then I do have speed boots on her. So that's how she turned out the way she did. But yeah, it's it's a speed set one. Uh, the carrot, I just, re I, again, she's not Mola Gord out. So she's still missing a couple Molas. Not a couple, she's missing a lot of Molas. There's a lot of damage missing. Same thing with carrot. There is a lot of match. There, there is a lot of damage missing from these units. Right, and barrier strength, right? Like, I'm losing so much utility. I'm, I'm missing the cooldown reduction on this and all the damage I could be getting and the effect chance, which shows up a lot more than I would want it to. That 5% is, like, a lot more. And then this is the same thing. Like, I am missing so much damage from not finishing this. But I'm pretty happy with her. I mean, I don't think I'd change anything besides give her more attack. That's the only thing I would try to change about her. It's not Mola. For this, for her, it's not Molas. It's stupid Catalyst. I have the Mola. It's the Catalyst. I hate Catalysts. Catalysts are the stupidest thing in this game. So, yeah, I need to do that. And then, this is the Violet that I used earlier on. Uh, right now, he's he's built to work for what, right now. But when the update comes out, I will be switching these boots for more health. And less crit, because he doesn't need this much crit, right? I'm not switching out for something that's way bulkier and no speed. He doesn't need speed anymore. So this will probably be either probably HP or defense or something. Just buy Catalyst pack, honestly. <laughs> Can't say I didn't think about it. But yeah, I'll probably switch the boots and I'll probably switch the helmet, right? These two pieces are kind of scuffed, but that's the only thing I would change. Immunity makes a lot more sense on him now because you don't want him getting stunned. But at the same time, who's going to stun him? The only real stunner right now is like Stene. And it's the same thing with Riot. If you're using immunity, you know, just YOLO, right? If you get hit, you get hit, you know? It happens. So I'd rather have the extra stats that that gives me over immunity. Especially, like, from these for these dodge units, it's like... I know it adds more RNG. I mean, this I, I am really highly considering switching to Moonlight Dreamblade, but it's just so nice to have a max stack one. So... Catalyst, why not ask guildies? Because I don't want to be that person that asks for Catalyst in the guild chat. I know my guild would give them to me, but I don't want to do that to them. 
But yeah, I have a ton of like stuff I want to build, but the only thing that's getting me is actually not the gear. I mean, I'm okay to an extent. It's almost done. I'm I'm almost done building like a trial build on him. But y'all want to know why I won't be able to try him out next week? Not because I don't have the Molagora for him. I have more than enough Molagora for for Molagoring what he needs, right? And Molagoring the important skills. But I don't have Catalyst because in this game, Catalyst hit me. Say it's for the tube. I mean, all the money I do make from the channel does go into the game. So, one of the things I will occasionally buy to do showcases is actually uh, these type of packs. Oh, he shares the same one as Kise. I'm trying to build Kise right now. So, this kind of sucks. Damage up by Dragon Flame. So, do you even need to... Do I even... Oh, it's both. Okay, so you do need to Mulagora these two skills. So, he's a plus 15 type unit. God dang it. Gosh darn it. I won't be able to... But I do have enough... Ah, this is enough Molo to almost Molo one unit. But yeah, this is the same as Kisa, and Kisa is another unit that I'm planning to build soon. Because I think she's really good. So that sucks. So I won't be able to build them in time. I mean, I have the gear. It's not a gear thing. Like, this, this set will work for what I need him to, like for a showcase. The crit damage is a little bit on the low side, but I mean, there's still, like, room for reforges, right? Somewhere. I don't know where, but there, there, there is room for reforges, I know. And for improvements. But it's so demanding that he needs some Ephras. So, we'll see. Shouldn't be too bad. Only three lifesteal? Oh. This is supposed to be lifesteal. This is a placeholder. I I realize now that I was I gave him the wrong set. This is supposed to be lifesteal. <laughs> So uh, let me unequip that before y'all think I'm super boosted. Yeah. I still have to find. That's supposed to be three lives. So that was just for me to see how the stats would look like. If I got a boots that were similar. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I still think about the artifact. Again, this is just placeholder for the most part. So we'll see when, when the buff comes out. If I'll be able to do them. I wish there was a way to farm more catalysts easier. I hate farming catalysts. Like the thing about it, it's like you could do one. You can get catalysts for a unit in a day, right? It's just I'm so lazy to do it. I really just need to like suck it up and do it. Why am I in arena? Who who plays this game mode? I don't, I, I take that back. By the way, I know a lot of people play arena. It's just that right now I don't like Arena because it's such a slugfest. And I'm still working through some of the defense. I don't know what I want to use for my defense right now because I don't have Polides. So I've been trying Carrot on my defense to see how she does. So hopefully she does good. And hopefully she's able to carry the damage. And I have a couple of other things there to, to help me against Seaside. So. Yeah, Catalyst just irk, irks me how much energy it actually takes. And how, like I'd rather just be farming Banshee. So we'll do we'll do a couple more and then I gotta close the video for sleeping. How many consecutive wins did I have? I didn't even I didn't even check. I just know I've been I've been abusing carrot. Ooh, no fall on Cecilia. This feels like a cleaver. Fairy tell Teneria first pick. Wow, that is brave. I'll still pick carrot into it. Why not? She cleanses herself. YOLO. Buff Sino? Oh yeah, one day he'll get buffed. But he's a free unit, so they're not gonna buff him anytime soon. I don't know if y'all noticed, but they uh they take a long time to buff. And yes, Arena feels terrible. Okay, now I'm confused. I am tempted to go cleave. But if he has faster units than me, I lose. I really want to take Basar. Let's do that. Okay, let's take Basar. Just because I really like Basar. And then let's take something a little spicier. I don't use Secret Set that often, so. It's a weird team.
All right, here's the question. How confident I am that he bans fucking Hickory? He probably bans fucking Hickory. So I should ban F10A. There we go. I already know what, what's gonna happen. He, he probably bans fucking Hickory. Oh, he banned Basar? That's weird. What I'm gonna put in the back? Kara should be able to take care of herself. So I think I'll put MLRA in the back. But he's gonna be trying to focus down. Yeah, he's gonna be trying to focus down MLRA. Let's stand it. So we will do it this way. <laughs> I kind of want to grab the grass here, although the seaside is probably the better option, actually. Golem is worth farming now. Golem is legitimately a decent set. How confident are we that we can hit this uh, seaside? Honestly, I don't think I should do anything. I'm gonna think about it. And yeah, he'll resist it, but that's a lot of damage. Ooh, that's nice tech, actually. That's some nice tech right there. We still, he's still resisted, but we didn't even cleanse the barrier. Why did he not soul burn Ross? Because he's probably trying to kill something. Do I wait one turn or do I do it now? He's just gonna cleanse the seaside. That's the problem. Huh. <laughs> Let's do it now just in case we actually do somehow hit this Ruel. I probably shouldn't have done it there, but just in case I do hit Ruel. So I did hit the Ruel. He's not going to kill MLR, but he can stun her, which sucks. He's just going to uh, go into the MLR right here. Yep. Resist? Nope. I probably should have saved the Troublemaker cross set um, skills. Yeah, MLR is gonna die. Feels bad. I should have gone for the Ross. I should have gone for the Ross. I can go for him now. I don't think I win this. He can cleanse the seaside here and then he'll get to S3 me. I needed, I didn't expect the Rise of the Monarchs to, to work there so well. So it worked, it worked out in his favor. Oh, didn't crit. I don't think we win this just because we don't have the damage to, to kill the Seaside. Through our Royale, I don't think we have the damage. And we have no reach for the... For the backline. All he has to do is Soul Burn here and we lose. Yeah, there's there's no coming back from this. He played it really well. Troublemaker Crosset was... A, oh, we should have given her... We should have given MLR a chance. We should have given MR a chance! He might have gone a full AoE stun! <laughs> ah! And yes, uh, it ignores miss, but it doesn't ignore FRS check for Abyssal Crown. Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. I shouldn't have yielded. I shouldn't have yielded. I didn't give her a chance. I didn't think he'd S1 me. Watch it have gone popped off, burn the Ruel, AoE stun, and then we could have won with, with uh, Carrot. Oh, I should not have quit. I should not have quit. We also had Ruel soon. I could have won. That was so winnable. Why did I quit? Why did I quit? Why did I quit? I should have believed. I should have been a believer. 
Why did I quit? Now I regret it. I think MLR I could have popped off. All I needed was a stun on the stun and I, and I could have put a one the game. Ah, uh, and then Kara would have had her S3 shortly afterwards. And if we could lock down the Ruel, we just have we would have won. Oh my god, I should not have quit. I should not have quit. And she landed the burn too, which is what's crazy. She would have she she could have potentially stunned everyone. Oh, I'm I'm depressed now. I am pure depression now. I am so sad now. I didn't believe in her. I didn't believe in her. She was gonna pull through. I guarantee you she was gonna pull through for me. She was gonna hit that stun on that standing and on the seaside. And would have been okay. I'm a non-believer. Never surrender. You're right. I should have let her go a little long. What the heck? But like, why though? All right, let's start speed contesting. I guess I guess we're doing a speed race. This guy wants to speed race me. And who am I to say no to a speed race? See, in cases like this is where I would love to have a, um... He really wants a Tamara Luluka, huh? Let me think here. We probably don't need to ban the Sage Ball. And I kind of want to play with MLR because that's what this stream is supposed to be mostly about. I know this is probably not the best option. But why not? Who should I ban? If he bans the Akali, this top model looker could outspeed me. If he bans... If I don't ban Sage Ball, he could potentially take the whole turn away from me. And if I ban this, he has no way to stop me once I get going. Ooh, decisions, decisions. I'm gonna play it safe and assume that he's going to ban the... A the A-Tai win. Okay. I think we got the right call. I think we got the right call. Alright, let's see how fast this time on Luka is. She could outspeed me. I guarantee you she's not surviving, though. We have double soul burn. Yeah, she's not doing anything to me. Alright, and we are going to soul burn here. Because... Actually, we don't need to soul burn. This is a slow top on Luka. I don't need to soul burn. I'd rather keep my souls for Basara and for Carrot. So we're actually going to do a regular one. And the straight hits should be able to kill. So there's that. Yeah, that was slow. It's slower than my Basar. So it's about 230, 240. Do I need to soul burn here? I don't even think I need the souls here. I should have just soul burnt there. But I'm gonna soul burn just because I want to cycle the S3 quicker. Since Carrot's the way that we're gonna be winning this match anyway. So I, I want to kind of soul uh, cycle through the, the, the skill rotation. Alright, let's see if we hit this Ruel. It was an immunity Ruel, which tells me that he probably doesn't have her on, um... He probably doesn't have her on... Ephras, is my guess. And I am right. And we just automatically win, because Emilara is usually an auto-win button. <coughs> GG. Oh, and we get to pop her right here. Yeah, GG. <laughs> He's not coming back from this one. <laughs> no matter how he tries. He might actually, but it'll be a really long road for him. Because we are going to soul burn this to get the guaranteed burn here. Maybe get an Abyssal Crown? Ooh, nice little double burn. Stena just dies, so she won't take, she won't take a turn. Oh, you're dead. <sighs> 
That's so good. That's so good. MR is one of the most satisfying units I've ever gotten a chance to play. Hey, what's up, Edmund? Alright, so let me read the meta to see some of the stuff that y'all have been talking about. Oppa, you hate that carrot is basically a better version of MOR. I mean, yeah, to an extent, but at the same time, MOR feels pretty good. Not gonna lie, she feels pretty good. Is it worth to power the shop for another 30 Tenga House? Uh, Overdrive, that is a lot of books, and Overdrive, you are going to be needing enough to buy the seaside if you're getting seaside which you should be getting seaside you need enough things to get to powder the uh the drink because there's a good chance you won't actually get drink so that's a pretty important one it's good to have extra tomes though it is good to have extra tomes but drink is just so important but yeah pretty slow time on luka so so you do want a lot of stuff you do want a lot of powders i, I know people aren't expecting a new summer unit event in between these two reruns make sure sense to run it when they then wait for the collab so a b just kind of looking at what smogget is doing right now we're gonna have two weeks of seaside bologna and we're gonna have two weeks of holiday Yuffie, and there is only one week in between i believe so it is very unlikely that they'll run summer iceria at the same time we are most likely going to get a new summer unit, but that means that we are not going to be getting a collab till potentially like October. Which, if that is the case, that means we're not going to get any holiday theme unit this year. Because now, because the schedule got pushed back, right? We should have been getting the collab or the summer units sooner. And I'm surprised that they're doing such a slow schedule for the summer unit reruns. Where they are not putting them at the same time and they're giving them two weeks in between. So it's it's going to be like a six, uh, it's going to be a five, almost a seven week period. They might run it at the end of Holiday Youthings Banner. So I would say we're not going to get another unit until four weeks from now. Which is a very long time, right? That is a very, very long time. We might get a new unit in between. There is a chance that they'll slide her in between Seaside and in between Holiday Youthings. But it's unlikely, right? They'll probably wait till afterwards. Came for the Malding. So... It's not going to come for a while, though, because we still haven't gotten the announcement. And it already feels like for Halloween. I mean, they've never released any, like, Lu that's usually Luna's rerun time. So that means Luna's probably not going to get a rerun this year, most likely. Or they're going to pair up Luna with F10A with another limited unit in December, right? That I could also see, that they'll pu push back Luna to be later this year. So, I don't know. It's getting kind of tight as far as scheduling. So, either they're going to have to put some limited banners back to back, which is going to suck. Or we're going to have a very slow time, which again, it really sucks. No matter what they do, it's not going to be great. Collab is coming on October. I don't know. If, if it goes as it's going right now, the earliest the collab can come in September. Which means that we would be getting back to back limited units, right? So, that's the thing, y y Yambin. If they decide to go with that, we would be getting back to back things, right? So it's it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. They're either going to do a back-to-back -back limited, which they have never done in the past, or they're going to have a really slow, really slow banner. Epic 7 Anniversary is sometime in August, I believe. I'm not too sure. But that's also coming really soon. I'm playing for Strasse or waiting for ML Charles. Oh, I'm going in on Strasse. Strasse looks so good. And it actually looks like a unit that has a lot of versatility. Right? She looks like she has a lot of stuff. Is it worth it limit break or keeping two copies? It's nice to have two copies of drink because you never know when there could be another ranger that could use it. As of right now, the only other ranger that could realistically use it is Yuna. Is one of the only units that can actually use her. That can actually use uh, drink. And like Iseria. But there is a good chance that we will in the future get a unit that can use drink. And it's always nice to have two copies of really good artifacts. So that part's nice. Alright. We haven't seen anyone first pick carrot. God damn it. He first picked carrot. Alright. I have to eat my words. Should have been the carrot. And what do we want to do here? Let's do, let's do this. We like September, early October, like Blair said. Yeah, it's not gonna be for a while. How are you able to choose who to ban again? What do you mean? 
Oh, you have to unclick it one time. You have to click the same unit you ban one more time so it unbans it and then you go for another ban unit. Alright. I'm gonna not be able to use MLR right here, but I am gonna go for a cleave. So we'll see what he responds with. Oh my god, you are definitely banning my Basaur. I need something very threatening though. Right now I don't have a really big AoE damage threat. This guy! What a cheeser! <laughs> oh man, he's just gonna ban RV. I already know. If I pick the MLR right here, he's gonna ban RV. This guy's a cheeser. He legit said, hmm, well, that's not gonna work. There's a good chance he also bans Basar here. But Carrot, I have no way to deal with if he bans Arby, so I have to ban this. This guy's a cheeser. This guy's actually a cheeser. It's not a mock room, it's an actual room room. It's an actual RTA match. Alright, watch this. Watch, 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 watch. I need to soul burn here. Um, because I need to break the barriers. But watch, he's gonna counterattack seal. Okay, we resisted. Good job. We resisted. We ha he actually did something good for once. Alright, we should be able to hit this the end, hopefully. If not, we're kinda screwed. Alright, GG. We didn't hit the end. We didn't hit it. Jack, dude. Is it doomed? Yeah, this game's doomed. We didn't hit anything. We are so screwed. We are so screwed. Alright. I don't think we win this one. The only way we win. See, but she landed the unhealable. Which makes me feel like we just got unlucky. Alright, if this hits seal, we're screwed, right? Okay, hit seal. GG. GG. Oh my god, dude, this guy's a cheeser. We should have been the air marrow. I should have known. This guy's a cheeser, dude. The second I saw him first with carry it, I should have known he was gonna go for something toxic. And yeah, the lag sucks right now. I should have known. And Yanpin, I can tell you carrot is pretty broken. But yeah, F10 and not hitting anything there kind of a feels bad. No Gav either. I mean, it is what it is. Amero's broken, dude. Amero's a broken unit. I still don't know how people don't think Amero's a good unit. I still don't understand that. How can you look at Arxim and Mercedes and say, oh yeah, this unit is not broken? She legit can't die. One. I do have Kisa. She's actually in my list of units to build. She's six starred. I'm currently working on getting the stuff to uh, awaken her. So, if if you're killing a Meru with LQC, they have a bad a Meru. That's all I gotta say. If if a Meru is dying to an LQC, that means they have a bad a Meru, because there is no reason that a Meru should die to an LQC, even with an attack buff. Y'all realize? That with Aureus, she essentially is like almost 50% damage mitigation. Almost 50% damage mitigation. Let that sink in. She has an almost, almost 50% damage mitigation. That's crazy, right? That's crazy. And I've, I've actually gone against Amaru's. Where I've had my LQC on 8 health cutter stacks with attack buff and crit damage buff. And she didn't even do 15k to the Ameru. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna try something cheesy. But I think it'll work out. We'll try something cheesy. Hey man, 
She's not buffed yet. Let's see if we can get some some more cheese in here. Alright. I could put Sage Ball, but I'd rather go for MOR because I'm an MOR simp. I know we probably lose. I see what he's doing though, it's pretty smart. I'm actually gonna ban the operator cigarette. Alright. Who do y'all think wins? A carrot? I should have been Cerise, actually. Oh, it wouldn't have mattered. He had double strip. Ooh, that's a speed Rylet. Interesting. That's beautiful. That is the highlight of my night. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Okay, we're gonna kill this here. That is just... Oh, man. If I was this guy, I'd be molding right now. I would be so mad right now, dude. I would be... <laughs> I stunned the Rylan with Crown! Oh, my God, dude! Hey, what's up, Rimpai? <laughs> you guys realize how bad this dude's RNG was? You realize how bad this dude's RNG was? Let me just break it down for you all the things that didn't go his way. First thing, his S3 didn't restrict my ammo aura or my specimen sets that's that's thing one right that was that was first thing no restrict then my spec countered my ammo aura countered both are 25 20 20 20 20 of happening both happen ammo aura was guaranteed to get the second burn uh to get the s2 because he had a burn then Spes gets to stun, which is only 60%. Which is, again, ridiculous RNG. Right? So that's 50%. Then, MLR gets an Abyssal Crown on RB, which is 20%. And then, MLR S3, Abyssal Crown, Rylan. This dude got the worst... Oh, and I hit the crawl with S3 from, from Carrot, which is not a 50%. Dude, I'm so sorry to whoever this guy was because that is the most RNG fight you will see in your life. <laughs> oh, man. How mad do you think this guy is? This guy's probably like, dude, this guy, this guy's gonna get so pissed. I really hope that guy wasn't trying to climb and he just could appreciate MLR being so fun. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I mean, Sean, you got, I mean, you've seen her. She's done really good, right? She's done amazing, right? MLR has won a majority of the fights she's been in. This one I got deleted because it was just not a good match for her. But, like, for the most part, we've gotten a lot of wins with her. Right? We do get some losses with her, too. She got banned that one time. So. Oh, man. All right, we're going to end the stream there because I don't think I'm getting better RNG than that. I think, I think that was the most RNG I could get tonight. I think I've spent all my luck today. Um, yeah. So, I think I spent all my luck on that last match. So we're going to stop there because I don't want to I don't want to tilt someone to 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 high oblivion, right? So man, that is so satisfying. So verdict on MLR, dude, this unit is amazing. This this unit is great. And so is Carrot. Carrot's broken. Holy cow, this unit's so strong. It's so nice to be able to have a unit that you first pick and people have to put a response to. And then you pick whatever the heck draft you want. So that is... That was the highlight of my night, man. I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to take a couple of those clips. So if you're in the stream, I'll probably be using that for next Monday because I'm not going to actually be here. So I'll probably put that together in a video on, on Thursday and, and put it up for for next Monday. Just showcasing MLR and... <laughs> oh man but all right y'all gg that was fun hopefully y'all enjoyed watching mlr and spes two units that you don't get to see as often in rta they work really well so can't confirm they feel really good they feel better than people are giving them credit for um i think mlr is really good this matter shockingly right i really think that that because people are opting for cleansers and they're not opting for immunity and because there's so many strips in the current meta mlr is actually not bad so Hufer, we'll fight we'll fight another time here I'll, I'll do a room next week i'll do a rta room next week uh when i actually finish out the build on some of my units but man oh that was so satisfying that reminded me why i love control so that reminded me why I love control so much. Why that that feeling of just RNG just absolutely cocking someone. Oh, that was so satisfying. I don't think she needs a buff, honestly. I think she's fine where she is right now. Emo Ken next? Oh, that's gonna be a hard one. But I, I am on the process of building him. I am trying to build him before the buff. I am in the process of building him. Uh one one kind of um disclaimer. That you guys should know as well. I am fighting at a pretty low level for where I'm supposed to be. Granted, people are drafting really well and my units are not reforged or molded. But just a disclaimer that I am usually much higher in RTA. I'm usually drinking top 300. So that extra experience is one of the reasons. Or that extra like gear and like unit pool and like knowledge is probably why some of this thing works but it not, may not work if you don't have like the exact units or the exact builds um so and may not work higher up right that's another disclaimer i don't think this will work higher up i think i think higher up players are <laughs> can protect themselves against mlr because they're already protecting themselves against f10 right so i get to abuse the fact that most people are not guarding against that uh, most people here don't guard against f but higher up people do really hard so that's a disclaimer for this video or for the stream so that's all i got for you guys today hopefully i enjoyed hopefully it was fun i know it's not try hard rta but it's fun rta and i had a lot of fun today since i didn't have to worry about rank i don't know how much we climbed though because we started pretty low ah we only climbed 20 points feels bad yeah, that, that's a big feels bad. That, that must mean we were losing against matches that were like pair downs. Right? Because we lost 11 points there. I don't know. But it was a good time. I'll see you next time. And that's all I got. Peace.